What's up, ladies? Let's talk through the fundamentals of macronutrients or tracking your macros. Just as a reminder, Tuesday, December 5th, so if you're watching today, it's next week on Tuesday, we have a free masterclass helping you step into elevated success, fitness, health, and results. So if you want the information, please comment invite below and we will get that over to you. All right, so first and foremost, let me pin this video at the top of our Facebook group. Make sure you're in there if you're watching this somewhere else. Macro tracking and weightlifting for women. And then I'll dive into just some of the uh, fundamentals of what macros are, why we track, and then I also want to give you some tips and tricks to better track so you can get the most results out of tracking, right? Because there's a lot of wrong ways to track, and then it's just a waste of time. You're spinning your wheels. So I'm going to help you overcome that, okay? So first thing is, what are macros? <laughs> so macros are macronutrients, and there's four, protein, carb, fat, and alcohol, okay? All have a different function, and all have different calories per gram. So protein, one gram of protein is four calories, and the function of protein primarily is to grow and maintain muscle mass, so it repairs your muscle tissue, Carbohydrates is also four calories per gram of carbohydrate, and the primary function is to give you energy. You need, must need an adequate amount of carbohydrate to have energy in the gym, to have the energy to break down your muscles so your protein can go repair and rebuild, right? It's a really beautiful balance between muscle catabolism, so breaking down the muscle, and then building back your muscle, right? So muscle protein synthesis is essentially building the muscle, creating more muscle tissue, right? So growing your muscle. Now fat has nine calories per gram of fat. So over double that of protein and carb. And it's so important for heat, right? For your organs, for hormone regulation. So all three have such an important role in your body in very different roles, which means if you cut out a macro, your body is going to be lacking the nutrients it needs to provide the functions that your body really needs to thrive. It's never wise to just cut out a macro unless there's some extreme medical uh, situation. That's not what I'm talking about. But in general, try not to get sidetracked into fad diets. It's not healthy, right? We want to be we want to be as healthy, fit, and whole as possible because that's going to help you for your whole life to age with grace, to age with strength, and to just be really healthy from the inside out. Okay. Now, alcohol is the fourth macro. There's no biological need for humans. It's more just balance and fun, right? Um, but it is a macronutrient. Okay, I will talk through alcohol in a tracking app in just a moment. Uh, but first, I want to pause really quick and just remind you, macronutrients or macros, it's just whole foods. It's just whole foods. It's just helping you track, what am I eating? What type of nutrients are my is my body getting, Okay. The reason we track macros is for a few different reasons. One, it's to make sure that your body is fueled with what it needs to thrive, to thrive in your workouts, to thrive at work, to thrive at home, to thrive health-wise, and to just feel really good in your skin. So tracking your macros versus calories, make sure that you have all the different nutrients and whole foods that you need to provide a very high quality life, a very high uh, level of health and fitness, but definitely health. Okay. Now, another reason we track macros is to teach you a lifestyle. Macros are an amazing way to get guaranteed results. Hands down. If you have the right macros for you, if you have the right lifting routine for you, and you're consistent, hands down, you're getting guaranteed results, which is such a good feeling. It's just like tracking your finances, but you're tracking your nutrition, but on a deeper level by tracking your, your, Whole foods, right? Your macros to see what does my body need to thrive? What do I need to, um, what nutrients do I need to mentally, physically, emotionally thrive all the way? So macros are amazing. It also teaches you how to live within the parameters of what your body needs. It's helping you get rid of some old habits like overeating portion sizes, not balancing your day, not knowing how to incorporate wine or play foods in, not having any balance, getting out of fat diets, things like that. It really teaches you how to live a healthy and fit lifestyle within the parameters of what your body needs. That's at least how Queens of Iron uh, coaches and educates, okay? 
there's many ways to skin the cat. We're all about sustainability, health, longevity, super fit, love the body you're in, high confidence, always sustainable, things like that, okay? So just a recap, we track macros to get guaranteed results to make sure that your body is fueled with what it really needs to thrive on a person by person basis. No two humans are alike. You're going to need something different. No two people need the same macros. I've never seen that in the history of my life where two people need the exact same macros. It's just not possible because everyone is so different, right? We have a beautiful macro calculator, which is great. But remember, all macro calculators are designed for the masses. It can get you so far. It is a great resource. It can definitely get you amazing results. We hear that all the time. But remember, it's not specifically dialed into you, okay? If you want that macro calculator, just comment calculator below. We'll get that to you. We've heard women literally lose 5 to 30 pounds just from the macro calculator. It's so, so helpful if you use it, if you put it to work. So just let us know if you like that. We'll send it over to you for you, okay? Um, beautiful. And so macros in a deficit will teach you, okay, where are my parameters that I need to live in to lose the weight? But then there's so much more. There's a whole other lifestyle outside of the deficit, right? Once you hit your goal, then comes something called the reverse diet. And what this means is you're reversing out of a diet. So we're teaching your body how to eat more and still shed fat, which is an amazing thing in general, right? It's great for life, but it's also so important because it brings a ton of health to your metabolism, so much health. Your body is able to handle more, process more, use more, and still shed fat rather than storing it as fat. That's going to help your body maintain the results you just achieved and create a new set point. So a set point is where your body's comfortable living. Some women gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose. Partly it's because you haven't learned the lifestyle tools, right? It's like quick fix. I've lost it. Oh, but it's not sustainable. So now what? not effective, waste of time. Don't put yourself through it, right? Let's just go through the right process one time and then you can just have the freedom, right? Got you love on the macro calculator. Yeah, totally. We'll get that sent over to you. So I, I need to not get distracted with the comments. I'm sorry, ladies. Yeah, the reverse diet. So it's going to bring a lot of health to your metabolism and it'll help your body create the new set point. So physically, it's way easier to maintain those results long term. And then mentally, the way you maintain those results long term is you practice the habits and the lifestyle through the deficit and through the reverse. What do I mean by that? What habits, what tools, right? You guys have probably heard me say this many times, balancing and spacing your food eating the right foods for your body. It's not just about hitting your macros. It's about food quality, meaning let's do like a sweet potato versus French fries. For example, macros may be similar, but one is providing you loads of nutrients, giving you energy, and one is providing not so quality nutrients and pulling away from your energy, right? So we always want to really be focused on food quality. Beautiful. That was a real quick uh, deep dive into what macros are, why we track them, how we use them, that type of thing. If you have questions, let me know. But I really want to dive into, um, we use my fitness pal because it connects to our client's workout app. And so I'm going to show you in my fitness pal. But I want to take you through a few settings and a few tracking tips that will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. <laughs> so I'm actually going to share my screen and I'll show you um, this. Now, I 10 out of 10 recommend my fitness pal premium. It's 80 bucks a year, but I'm telling you it's so worth it or I would never tell you to get it. Okay. So one thing you can see is I have my macros on the top. Amazing. Makes it way easier to know how much do I have for the day, right? What types of foods do I need to eat? The other thing about um, premium, so let's go, I'm just going to type in lean body. The other beautiful thing is it tells me the here it tells me the number of macros per meal. If you don't know how many macros you're eating per meal, there is a massive variable that you currently don't have control over. 10 out of 10 times is going to negatively impact your results. So you always want to make sure you can see how many macros per meal am I actually eating? It will create so much awareness and also help you really take care of your body. We talk about body confidence, fit, fierce, and feminine, all the results. But ladies, it goes so beyond that, right? 
of course we want to look and feel amazing in our skin. It improves your marriage, right? It improves everything, how you show what places, but also when you feel really good, when you feel light from the inside out, when you feel healthy, when you don't feel stuffed, when you feel energetic, amazing. It can all happen through your macros and balancing and spacing your food is vital. What do I mean by balancing? Instead of having like 50 grams of fat for breakfast and like two grams of fat per lunch, it's like, wow, why don't we break that up and maybe do like 18 grams and 18 grams. You get what I mean? Instead of mass amounts in one meal and like none in another meal. It just really almost always, um, depending on the situation, negatively impacts results. So let's just ditch that as much as possible. It will never be perfect. Okay. Another thing that I want to show you is let's go to diary settings. Make sure track net carbs is off, 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 off. Otherwise you're eating more carb than you think you are. Because if you're only tracking the net carbs, you're only tracking some of your carbohydrates. Let's just have a good understanding of the full picture. What all is happening? Because the more data we have, the more awareness we have, the more understanding of the situation we have, and the more uh, concrete and dialed in your plan is. Your time is so valuable. Let's just do it right first, right? It sounds silly saying it out loud, but it's like, oh my gosh, we just need to get out of the diet culture ploys, right? It's like, wait, let's just be fit and healthy. And it's okay to have awareness of all the things. Okay, cool. Another thing I recommend turning off is exercise calories, workout calories, step calories, turn it off. Um, too often, it will pull you out of a deficit with our calculator. Excuse me, we've already calculated that for you. So just be mindful of that. You typically don't want to add back in exercise calories. Okay, cool. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is the method of tracking. I have seen ladies compromise their results hundreds of times by tracking with cups. It doesn't seem that much of a problem. Tracking with uh, cups and tablespoons doesn't seem like that much of a problem. But holy moly, it makes a massive difference. So what do we do instead? If you see at the top, there's serving size and then there's number of servings. The serving size as much as possible should be one gram or one milliliter, which is the same as one gram on the scale and in my fitness pal, or one ounce. But gram is beautiful because it's a small unit of measure, so it's really accurate. So I like to do gram. So let's get rid of this. So just click on where it says serving size one tablespoon, just click on it. And you should see right here, one gram. Can you ladies see that? One gram. Then the number of servings is the weight on the scale. Use the scale. Do not use cups and tablespoons, ladies. It's a waste of time. It will not reap the same results. So let's say 18. Okay. So number of servings is always weight on the scale. Serving size as much as you can is one gram. Let's say this olive oil didn't have one gram as an option. I would go back and choose a different olive oil until I found one with one gram, okay? One more thing on this screen. You can see the green check mark. That just means my fitness pal has deemed it more accurate, so it's a more trustworthy source than the options without it. Okay, great. Oh, one more thing, ladies. Um, if you're seeing this crazy wheel, <laughs> You'll see at the top it says decimal and fraction. Put it on decimal because then you can be like, you can be like, yeah, 500 versus you're like, oh my gosh, it only goes to 99. Oh, they increase it. Okay, it goes to 200. Now I have to add it three more times. It's like, no, no, let's just click on decimal and then um, you can make it the exact weight on the scale. Cool. All right, beauty, beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I guess two more things I'll quickly share, okay? Uh, one of them is, remember you have this scan a barcode option. I should have brought a food item up here. You can scan something where you just have the barcode here, and so you can actually have it on your uh, nutrition label, which is really helpful. Or if, let's say you're eating out to, you're going out to eat, instead of, let's say you have a burger, instead of being like, oh my gosh, I have a bun, I have a tomato, I have a lettuce, all the things, 
literally just type in like cheeseburger. It does not have to be perfect. Cheeseburger. Let's go. Beautiful. One burger. That is low calories. I would not choose that one. And knowing that just comes with the practice. Yeah, 535. Maybe this one. Probably even more calories. Just put that in there. It's better to guesstimate than to not track at all. It's so much better. You'll probably save hundreds of calories. So just do yourself the service. Look up the menu beforehand. Type in the foods that you want. So that way when you get to the restaurant and you're so hungry, your stomach isn't making the decisions. You're like, oh, I already know what I'm eating. I've already tracked it. It's beautiful. And it's also creating those healthy habits that will take you really, really far. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, I was like, man, so many of you ladies are asking, like, I don't understand macros. I'm trying to figure it out. I need some help. So I'm like, this is a good video to share. So make sure you watch the beginning sharing why we track macros, what they do for us. It's so important because it's not a diet culture. It's actually learning what types of foods does my body need? How much of each macronutrient does my body really need? Then focusing on high quality foods. What's the purpose of that? High fiber high vitamins, high minerals. So you feel really good mentally. You feel really good in your body. You feel really good energy wise. Because if you're feeling you're feeling you're my fitness pal with Twinkies, you're going to feel like crap, even though you hit your macros, right? We always want to be health focused first. Now, I have a video walking through how to fill your entire food diary with ease before you eat for the day. So you're not left with like 60 grams of protein at night. <laughs> for example, if you want that video, just comment pre planning. So I'm pre planning beforehand. It's a 16 minute video, but it really walks you through step by step. So you can open your my fitness pal at the same time and say, Okay, I'm going to plan out my whole day. What's the strategy to actually plan out my whole day to make it easy to get into compliance, to fill my body with high quality food, to see great results and not have it feel hard throughout the day? Yeah, got you, love. Yep, yeah, just type exactly like that pre-planning. We'll send you over that video. Okay, it's super helpful. Anything else you need, let me know. Um, if it's something that I feel is common, I'll totally make a training about it. Or if it's something for you specifically, let's chat through it. We're here to help. We're here to help. I know this can be overwhelming. So just take it one step at a time. Practice seeing the right way <laughs> makes perfect. And uh, give yourself grace. Okay. Oh, one actually more quick thing. Do you see how I do you see how I have um, it says lunch and or post lift? I want to show you that in my fitness pal premium, you can actually edit what your meals say. So go to settings, diary settings, and then it says customized meal names. That way you can actually make this look like whatever you want. I have like snacks, 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 because <laughs> I didn't want to have just like one fat column of snacks. I wanted to see how I was breaking down, spacing, balancing my meals. You can make this look exactly like you want, which can be really helpful. So, all right, ladies, beautiful. Okay, let me know any questions you have and we'll go from there. And I hope you have a great day. Don't forget our event on Tuesday. Comment invite below if you need the details. Totally free. It's amazing. They always help women so much with just accelerating forward, accelerating forward, accelerating forward. We'd love to have you. Okay. See ya.